Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Hello, hello. I'm Emma. I'm Jose. And some of you may know us from our friend Karen's channel, which would be Care Bear or Eat with Karen. And we have been considering creating a channel of our own for a long time. And we've even filmed a few videos, some with audio, some accidentally without audio. <laughs> You're just Teddy showboating me. And um, so we're like probably gonna actually do this now. And this is our first episode. And maybe we'll actually run some of the uh, lost footage somewhere down the line from our like blooper attempts. Yeah, we'll do a little blooper <laughs> reel. Um, but if for whatever reason this just comes on on your comes up on your feed and you don't know who Care Bear eats or eat with Karen, make sure you go to Care Bear. Yeah. That's one of our channels is Care Bear, the other one is Eat with Karen. And, Care Bear is um, K A R E B E A R. It's there all you go. And she's the best mukbanger out there um, by far. She's definitely the reason we're doing this. Our inspiration. Um, and if you want to see some videos of, of us with Karen, um, if you search, well, maybe we'll leave links down below. I don't know. That'll be up to him if he knows I, how to do that. I still am trying to iron out the kings. I'm not a YouTuber by any means. Well, now you are. We'll no, see. If I can figure out how to do it, maybe. there will be comments down there or somewhere. I, I don't know. There'll be some links to Care Bear. But if we don't figure it out, if you guys just search for our most recent video is um, Care Bear, which is how I spelled it before. And then if so if you search Care Bear, like I think it's called The Best Taco Bell or like Mukbang at The Best Taco Bell. And you can see a video of all of us together. And yeah, with that, Teddy, can you cooperate? No? Um, we'll see how this works out. Um, but yeah, so basically I just threw dinner together <laughs> and um, and what it, it's just like a chef salad. And so our salads are identical, um, except for um, slight difference. Hopefully this doesn't go on the floor. There we go. So it's still kind of light. Basically, it's just some like turkey and cheese and then um, cucumber, carrots. Mine has beets. Jose's does not. Red onion, hard boiled egg, bell pepper, parsley because it's bomb. You guys should put it on your salads and cherry tomatoes. And I think I listed everything. Um, and I put like a lifetime supply of black pepper on mine or on both ours actually there's a teddy here yeah so identical i don't like beads beads are gross no, i don't not. subscribe to the idea that beads are good for you in any way they taste like garbage yeah obviously it's not a subscription <clears throat> on whether beads are good or not but okay i don't subscribe if it were a subscription Okay, well, they we are also, good for you, and that's not like a school of thought, so. Um, we also have ranch that Emma made. Yeah, I made ranch, and I put some paprika on top, like the 1950s. Why won't that focus? Do a thing. Am I dumping it over? Yes. Maybe. Okay, well, it's ranch, guys. It just looks like ranch. It's yeah. white with paprika on top. I'm not a big fan of dressings um, at all. Um, so I have a little tahine, which I like to add to my salads. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I will try a little bit of a ranch just because uh, she went, um, you know, through the trouble of uh, making it. Oh, are you hungry? Teddy's never hungry. He never wants to eat, so it's actually kind of shocking. I think he knows we're doing something with the camera because he's never been this anxious to be around us when we eat. Yeah, usually he doesn't beg that much. Yeah. Um, and then we, I'm having a Coca-Cola mixed with some La Croix down here. That's bomb. Um, and he's having Wada. And then we decided to pour ourselves a little bit of sparkling rosé just to take the edge off. Wait, she is. And I won't show you guys the bottle because it's like nothing exciting. Um, well, actually, you'll probably see the bottle when I refill our glasses 17 times. 
Um, so yeah, let's dig in and get directly into the Q&A you guys uh, have, have, have start, started to ask questions about us. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Putting ranch on my salad. If you guys haven't tried tajin on salads or vegetables or fruit for that matter, you guys are missing out, man. I think, I don't know, tajin's like whatever. It's mm. good, but it's like whatever. Nah, I think you're missing out, man. Yeah. So our setup's like, you know, a work in progress. We don't really know like what we're doing, so maybe this will change. Mm. It's bomb. Yeah, this little ring light just came in today from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, well, what better time to try and do the mukbang than now when the ring light just came in. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's good. I don't know what the end result will look like. I think it's all right. But we, um, we eat dinner at home probably like four nights a week at least and I usually cook so you guys will see all the different things that we eat for dinner last night I made ceviche with shrimp um it was bomb yeah like homemade tostadas it was good and then tomorrow uh I have like a whole I usually try to plan out the meals for the week, so I can't remember what tomorrow is, but we'll see. She made that ceviche and she added um, jalapenos and tapatio. And usually I drench my ceviche with tapatio hot sauce. By the way, that's the best hot sauce in the world. No, I don't do Cholula or Tabasco. Tapatio is the way to go. But I didn't know she had added it to the ceviche already, so when I was eating, it, I, I was just like burning up. Mm -hmm. But I love my food to be hot to where you burn up. So, Not me. it was delicious, man. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like the taste of spicy food, but I don't like it when it's like painful, you know? And I think I probably have like a lower threshold for when it becomes painful. So we, I've been watching YouTube for like a really long time and like I, I mean I got like heavy into it probably like two and a half years ago like and then Jose and I started dating two years ago and I like got him hooked in and we mostly watch like mukbangs and food reviews mm. we watch like we watch this guy, Eddie Blotnicki, but he doesn't upload anymore. Um, but he, he was like the one account that really strayed from mukbangs and food reviews because he did like, well, he did have a couple food reviews, but then he stopped doing it and he started doing like tech reviews. Yeah, he usually talks tech. Mm-hmm. He's typically talking tech. Yeah. Um, and... Another one we like to watch that's not like a food related is re we like to watch Renee. That's her YouTube handle. It's just Renee, R E N E. And she does like fashion and stuff. Mm. It's weird because both Renee and Karen are from the Bay Area. And mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't know that they and, were from the Bay Area. And Drew's food reviews. We watch Drew's food reviews, and he's also from the Bay Area. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's like a coincidence or if it's like YouTube, but, um, we also like, we like an account called Michigan Video Maker. Sorry about all the street noise. We, we should probably mention we live in San Francisco, so it's like- Out a, on the street. Yeah, we're homeless. This is a tent. <laughs> Which just goes to show you, a 10 is what you make of it. Mm -hmm. A um, home is a home, is a home, is a home. Mm-hmm. And everything like that. Actually, no, we don't live on the street. 
Um, so we, um, Jose's from Oakland, um, but I've, I've, I'm born in San Francisco and then um, I've been in this exact apartment for 13 years. And he's been here with me for two. And I used to be a San Francisco hater. Yep. And uh, now I can put up with it. He used to be a lot of different types of haters. Like, for example, I wanted him to watch the show Baskets with me. And he was like, no, Louis Armstrong is like one of the only things on the planet I hate. And he had like a whole story about how much he hates Louis Armstrong. Louis Anderson. Yeah, I always make that mistake. Louis Anderson. So yeah, anyway, so then we started, he started watching it with me, and now he's like obsessed with Louie Anderson. <laughs> Listen, when you're wrong, you're wrong. But now, Louie Anderson is like one of his favorite people ever. That show's really good. Um, it's on its fourth season right now, so you should marathon it. It's so good. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm. I'll probably insert like a Louie clip. Mm -hmm. on baskets. I had a little uh, Kung Pao chicken in my teeth. Was it alive? It's awesome. But it's it sucks that after the season they're ending the show. Yeah. Totally sucks. Look at this boy. <laughs> If I give you something, you're just gonna beg. Okay. I'm like extremely strict with him, as you can see. Mmm! Phyllis Stokes. Some of you people might possibly watch Phyllis Stokes. Um, she is. An angel? That's exactly what I was gonna say. She's an angel. She lives in um, North Carolina, or South Carolina, or maybe I shouldn't say where she lives. She probably talks about where she lives. Anyway. She lives in one of the liners. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And she does, like, she, so she has a website, southernfrugal.com. And um, she, like, on her shows, she, walk, she talks about, like, like, recipes, particularly, like, old-fashioned recipes. And then, um, like, yeah, how to, like, keep a nice home. I don't even know how I, like, happened upon her, but she's so adorable. And recently she was, like, diagnosed with, like, cancer, and she's, like, going through such a hard time. And then in the midst of, like, this cancer battle that she's been in, her husband died. And it's so sad. Like, it's just so freaking sad. I actually sent her a card. I mailed it today. So Phyllis, if for some reason you see this video, you're in our hearts and we love you and yeah, everybody go check her out if you're interested in like cooking videos and stuff because she's very entertaining. Tony, that's enough. You know, and it's weird because I never watched YouTube a lot until I met her and then like you start watching these people. And it's like kind of watching like a TV show, mm -hmm. you know, because you like get to know them, they update you on what's going on in their lives, and then stuff like this happens, and you just can't help but to like feel for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you want to send them good messages and, yeah, reach out to them. So, yeah, like, we love, we loved watching Eddie Blotnicki when he was uploading. And, um, he just, like, stopped uploading, like, what, like, six months ago? Yeah. And I, like, wonder what he's doing. I wonder, like, what his family's doing, you know? Because, like, he would, um, he would do, like, vlogs, you know? So you'd see, like, the same, like, recurring characters all the time. Like, his mom and, like, his brother and his friends and his uncle. And you'd just be like, wonder what they're doing now, you know? We have two dogs. One of them is Teddy. The other one is Bambi. And Bambi. You might be able to see Bambi. She's right here. Oh. Ow! Teddy's scratching my ear. She loves to burrow, Bambi. and uh, apparently, uh, darkness consumes her. Tell you what. So all she does is 
go under the covers and sleeps mm -hmm. until there's food or she notices that we're going out somewhere. Yeah. Because she's all about going out. Yeah, when we met up on our first date, like we had, we had like texted and like discussed that we both had dogs, but, um, you know, just sort of like I have a dog, she's a girl, her name's Bambi, here's a picture, you know, stuff like that. And, um, and then on our first date, I brought Teddy because I bring him, like I said, I bring him everywhere. Like I just, I have to bring him everywhere. And, uh, so <clears throat> we meet up at the BART station, which is, uh, BART is our, like, it's like the subway for San Francisco. So we meet up at the BART station at 24th and Mission, and I'm like, I come out from the escalator. I was hella late. It's a long story. Hella late. And I come out, and I'm like looking around. Not even like, I don't even have enough time to like be nervous because I was so late. And I see this like cute guy with a freaking dog in a sling. Like he had Bambi in a sling. Not like we did not discuss bringing our dogs. And it was like match made in heaven. And I don't think either of us really realized it at the moment, you know? But I told my therapist at the time, who's not my therapist any longer, and I told him about the whole thing. And he was like, well, I guess you guys are both the same kind of rude because to show up to a first date with a dog is very rude. And I was like, I don't need this kind of negativity in my life. Oh, the TV unpaused. We have 90 Day Fiance on pause right now. No, 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 you shouldn't have turned it off. Did the new episode start? It starts at 9. Yeah. Just turn it back on and then mute it, and then we can rewind. Okay. We're obsessed with 90 Day Fiance, by the way. Yeah, it's 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 garbage, but it's good garbage. You mm, know what I mean? The best. Like garbage you can, um, that keeps your attention. Mm-hmm. That was another thing that he and I had in common, like, we just like talked we somehow came up like what kind of trash tv we watch we like love the same tv shows like 90 day fiance um we we're both like he's like an extreme roseanne lover you know now things have happened with roseanne whatever but when we met that shit hadn't happened yet and we both really loved roseanne like i had seen like every episode and was like more than an average roseanne lover and then he was like a huge fan and I was really into my 600 pound life he wasn't into that but then he like got into it with me that was a good one y'all mm -hmm. we're also almost done with stranger things almost we basically have like 30 seconds left but we're gonna watch the last two episodes over again um Jose has four siblings. He's one of five. He's the second oldest. There's three boys and two girls. Um, I'm one of three. The only girl, the youngest. Mm -hmm. Both of our families live like... His family, like his mom and like you know her home base is like in Oakland so it's like 20 minutes from here my mom is up in Santa Rosa so it's like an hour and everything like that I don't really have any hobbies um aside from just like obsessing over Teddy and um like yeah, that's pretty much it. It's kind of pathetic, actually. Um, working on that. And, yeah, I don't really know what else. If there's anything you guys want to know about us, let us know. Yeah. Everybody is, like, always so nice in the in Karen's comments. Either that or she, like, deletes the mean ones. Because all I've ever seen is just, like, really nice people saying really lovely things. So, thank you. Um... And we will brace ourselves because I'm sure there will be a lot of people that do not say nice things. But, you know, that's that's showbiz, baby. Exactly, right? Yeah. It comes with the territory. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have hell hobbies. I mean, I like, you know, playing a standard amount of video games. <laughs> I like... Um, I read, but I read just like what interests me. 
You know what I mean? I'm like the kind of person who's like, oh, let's look at the uh, top 10 New York Times bestsellers and let's read that. I'm more of like, if I like a subject, I'll look for books that are in that subject. Yeah. Jose is always watching the news. I would honestly say that that's one of your hobbies. I know it sounds weird, but it's like he's like obsessed with the news. All the time. Like, I don't even have to watch the news. Anything. Because here's my newspaper. Every day. Um, I mean, how, how else are you going to know when the end times are coming? <laughs> if you're not informed in daily news. That's true. Teddy really wants to be here, so. I didn't finish mine. I had a late lunch. And she's doing all the talking. I'm a little shy, so I just kept shoveling food. He'll break out. He'll break out of his shell. You guys will see glimpses of, of uh, the wild and crazy Jose that I know. Jazz. Probably we're going to be doing like mukbang videos like this. Like, don't know if we'll be able to, you know, really get going on anything else. Um, but yeah, we probably for the most part will just be doing them here at home. I don't really envision us like vlogging, but who knows? Never say never. I didn't. I said I like I don't me. I like me a good selfie stick and. You know, nice surroundings. Yeah. What and we, we like going to concerts, so maybe, like, you know, if we're out and about and doing something, maybe we'll throw something up on the tube. Yeah. Yeah, we were going to go to a concert this month, um, Molotov, who's playing at the Regency. But, I mean, I know, like, call me crazy, but after, like, these shootings, like, Molotov is a Latino band, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know if I feel comfortable. Like, it's it's not a really, like, well-known band, and it's, like, a pretty small venue, so, but, like, yeah. I'm a little scared about it. I'm not going to lie to you. So, we're, we have to, we'll talk about that some more amongst ourselves and let you know, but, at the, like, I was thinking about the other night, and I'm like, I don't know about that. So, that sucks. We also didn't go to First Friday in Oakland, this month because of the shootings yeah scary times out there folks and everything like that we'll see have you guys yeah, ever seen that. that video <laughs> there is a video that exists on the interweb and it's a like a what is he a basketball player a football player i think yeah he's like a football player like a young guy and he's being interviewed by like a sports ball reporter and um they're asking him you know his take on the game or some shit and he's like uh yeah so we just got out there and everything like that and we played hard and everything like that and every other word he says everything like that and it's i hate this word but it's epic and it's ridiculous like how does he not know he's doing that or does he not care i don't i i don't even know but either way you'll you'll hear us say everything like that a lot because it's like and there's other little catchphrases that we keep repeating. We'll try and um, give you know, me the backstory. Give me the backstory because we—that's how we communicate. Because we're curmudgeons and we our only friends are each other. And the TV. <laughs> and you too. And you too. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And them. And her. So, Bambi wants to come oh look she did come out look at her being a little slut so with that being said um we'll be back like and subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you next time take care um yeah you know we had a few odd man rushes there in the first period which was uh not good for us but i mean everyone had their nerves going and everything like that and then which we were glad to just keep them to one and everything like that and then we went back in the after the period in the locker room just talked about what we need to fix and everything like that stick to the game plan get back on it and everything like that so just paid off stick to the game plan you know 
stiffen up defense and everything like that. No pinches, everything like that. You uh, moving on to the semifinals. Your uncle, Stu, played here a while back, uh, I think 20 years ago with Alexandria. Did you get any advice from him coming in here to the tournament? Um, yeah, I got a nice uh, long text from him this morning saying uh, don't let the atmosphere uh, you know, get your nerves shaken up and everything like that. Just play your game, which is what I try to do out here and everything like that. So, yeah, definitely help from him and everything like that. Moving on to the semifinals, you get Stillwater. Your initial thoughts on the big matchup? Um, it should be a great game. I can't wait to play them. I know they're uh, doing good. Only one loss on the season, I believe, and everything like that. And